it's the tutorial, man. Oh, I see. You were watching the tutorial, man. <laughs> That's why it was showing the tutorial. Okay. Everybody shows the tutorial when they're when they're no, they don't. The they're like, I'm gonna play Bro Tito. It's self-explanatory, and you will see what's going on. Let's go. And that's what happens. And some people even explain the controls as they're playing. I'm going to move up now right. Hope there's enemies so and down how to and left. Up is you press the W key. Either that or just like D D D D D D W W W W A S S S A S S A A S D. The whole fucking That's time. a video, man. Oh wow. Such enlightened commentary, Hag. Yeah, believe it. Yeah. It takes it takes a while to get the hang of it, but but Riley's already a pro, so he watches it on times two speed. At one point five, but yeah. Anyone know how to get the scale of an object through the shader nodes in Blender, or do I need to Google that real quick? Uh, I don't uh, use Blender. Uh, so first, you want to plug it into the Unless wall. I'm making one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that sounds like a that sounds like something that's more up your territory, Max. It's true. It's a good point. Yeah. I tried making like uh, a sword in Blender. Who we man? Oh, Blender! Oh, I made the uh, the Triforce gym the in Blender, but that was that was like five years ago, Max. I, uh, <laughs> I remember you making it. I don't think yeah, I've Riley touched it since. Yeah. <laughs> Riley doesn't have those skills anymore. Yep, it's probably updated it. It's probably been about a year since I've touched Blender. I don't think I've touched like a mechanical Blender either. I used one recently to make wine. I use them at work to make sauces. <laughs> to make sauces for wine. <laughs> sauce wine. <laughs> wine sauce. Yeah, oh, no, like I, we do I have see. wine at work. So I, actually, I, I do put wine in the sauces. So you're not right. wrong. That doesn't look like a blender. What is? <laughs> no, that's that's one of the projects the I'm working on. Spins really uh, fast, Riley. Uh, Animation stuff, but I'm redoing all the materials for like the third time because I'm not happy with them. So that's pretty cool. I oh yeah, I can't make anything like that. No, no I, I, I use the transparent blender. background. Right. Yeah, <laughs> I mean like it starts like that, right? with something eventually. Like I use Blender to be like. I want this guy sitting on a bench, but, but I'm not good at drawing uh, perspective stuff. So I'll just make a blend, make a bench in Blender, and then I'll just drag that into my canvas, and it's good. Boom, and it works. Well, do we want to wait for a Jack, or do we want to get started here? Uh, up to you guys. Okay, let's vote. I say we get started. Okay. <laughs> what a great vote, everybody. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, welcome to the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Today, we are talking about can openers. Everybody has a famous can opener story. Um, who who wants to start with their their amazing can opener? I'll, I'll start. So, okay. at work, we got a bit of a bad track record when it comes to can openers. <laughs> what? Because... <laughs> They tend to, uh, for some reason, they tend to stop working pretty fast. And we aren't sure why they keep breaking so quick, but it keeps getting to the point where we try to clamp down the can opener on the cans, and it just won't clamp. So mm -hmm. then our boss bought a new can opener, but this one's different from the usual thing you'd expect from a can opener. And... It had like no. It, firstly, it didn't open up very wide like a can opener normally does, but it was also uh, built strange. I don't know how to describe it. So, is this like a mechanical, like no. electric one, or is no this manual. manual? Okay, okay. Manual. Let me try to find the specific can opener I'm is it, thinking of. Is it just like? 
I don't know, is the cans too big to not fit around the can opener clamp, like the edges? No, no, Riley. The can openers are typically built to handle just about any can. It's with any can, big or small, that these are having issues. Did you with. open a like soda can with? <laughs> What the there. fuck? Oh, what the fuck kind of restaurant? What what kind of person opens up a soda can with a can opener? Oh, What's wrong? This was with this you? was a hypothetical. I know I could with my can opener. <laughs> different than a conventional can opener. I should go a whole week doing only that now, just just to piss off camera. Come back after a week and have like nine soda cans. All open <laughs> I mean, that wouldn't piss me off, but you go, King. You'd have to, you'd have to be careful yeah. about like the the sharp edges if you're gonna drink from it. Nah, nah, you just get right in there. I mean, <laughs> worst case scenario, you build up some calluses. So the worst case there. scenario, you oh. you you're bleeding yeah. from the mouth. Like, That's when every nah. woman wants to kiss a calloused mouth. <laughs> <laughs> rough, super hard. Like you can't even smile because it's just like completely oh, rock solid. Man. That would be torture if you can't smile. At least smile, your mouth just wouldn't change shape. Ah, oh, you just look like a crazy <clears throat> man. You just look insane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, so, so your work has a curse of the can opener. A curse of the can opener. <laughs> Basically, we got a bad can opener, and now we got to get an, another, another can opener, because no, this one sucks, because this one also doesn't clamp down on the can. And it's very annoying. And we hate it. So, well, I guess, what do you mean by clamp down on the can? Like, you, the, the... What do you mean? What do I mean? It clamps <laughs> down on the... How, do you not know how a can opener works? No, I use can opener. I, you know what? That was a stupid question. Does it not question. attach itself to the can when you use your can opener, Riley? Sorry, yeah. sorry. Let me, let me uh, go back to, to the stupid question. Uh, when, when you say clamp... You're talking about like the first initial like latch onto it to to actually start opening the can, right? The the, the I was talking about the so, final yes. clamp on when he wants to take it off. Ah, <laughs> no, it's the first one. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I I had two pictures of a can opener in my mind, and the and first none one of them were correct. The first one was the electric can opener I used, and that that doesn't really have a clamp now that I'm thinking about it. No, is that they one just more magnetic not. or what? Yeah, it's magnetic top. That's what I was thinking oh, was the clamp, and I'm like, wait, that's that's not <laughs> that wouldn't work for a clamp. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, I made a fool of myself uh, as a kid. You by, sure? Uh, <laughs> oh, as a kid too, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but my my uh, aunt but, and grandmother thought it'd be funny. Well, actually, my aunt thought it'd be funny if she handed me a manual can opener to open up a can, and I had never used a manual can opener before because uh, we, you know, we were so privileged to have the electric can opener. Uh, I get it. The electric can opener uh, eventually die. started to die, and and then awesome. uh, I I actually don't know. I think we do. We still have an electric can opener. I don't know. I don't know if we have another electric can opener there. My great grandparents are like the only people I've ever seen with an electric can opener, and that was mounted to their wall. <laughs> I, I had, was not. We had a we had wall. an electric can opener when I was a kid, but it broke in like a month, and we right. never got another one since. Yeah, uh. I'm a big fan of manual can openers now. Me too. I Maddie hates heard. my can opener, but she brought her own. What's what's your can opener, Gavin? My can my, openers are pretty good. My can opener is a. It, it doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, it, it's just one piece, so it doesn't like grab onto it. What you do is you one spin piece. the little spinner, and the uh, part that actually cuts into the can also grabs onto the can. It just kind of shrinks and sucks onto it. And then it cuts the side instead of the top. So you can kind of just leave it on there until you're ready to open it up. <laughs> Which I really like because it's you can reuse the can a lot. Instead. I am more confused. I thought I was following, right. and, and I don't think I've ever seen a can opener of what you were explaining. In my well, mind, I'm picturing an orange peel slicer. 
or an orange peel peeler. <laughs> I'm sure I can find a picture of exactly my can opener. Have you seen like orange peel peelers? You put it around like one finger. Yeah, it's and my hand. You just, you just slice. It. <laughs> <laughs> There's one. I don't know what it's called. I actually watched a YouTube video of a guy that went way too in depth on can openers recently. It's um, almost this exact can opener. Almost. Oh, that's that's like that's kind of like the one that oh, I yeah, have those, those work. Cool. The, though, yeah. though, no, actually, no, never mind. This isn't quite yeah, like it. It, it, this... it goes down and kind of on the outside of the side of the can, so you can kind of like open and close it. No, oh, yeah, never. Oh, yeah, seen the this more in I, my life. the more I look at it, this isn't the one I have at work. And it makes it, it super it easy a... to drain stuff, and you can use it to burn stuff and make char paper and Is char like... cloth. It's great. So, do you? Ho- I'm assuming you hold it with the giant lever attachment and. No, you grab the thing with your left hand, slap it onto a can, when you twist the twister, that little metal circle sucks into the body, so it grabs the can and cuts the side of it as you twist, and the twisting rotates the can, just like a normal can opener, except for it grabs on itself. Instead of you needing to grab the other handle and be like, oh, a chunky. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, this is the one we have at work. I finally found a picture. <laughs> what? What are yeah, these can openers? Is, what is? It is similar, but I don't think I've ever seen one what? like that. Has, this, is, this is a stapler uh, attachment. Well, what are we well, talking about here? Uh, like, well, it had. I was going to say it has, but it doesn't anymore. But it had a lock mechanism inside of it, which made it a pain in the ass to even open to oh, start. For all the kids that go into the that steal the can openers. What? So I'm assuming this one, that like claw bit or the stapler bit, is the the graspy, like that goes around the can. But I would assume part. so, Riley. Yes. But how does it open the? <laughs> There's a cutter on the bottom. I don't no. see the bottom. I, the, yeah. cutter, the cutters Crazy. aren't shown in the picture. Ah, okay. Okay. They're on the underside of that like big. Like the twisty bit part that looks like a mouse. Yeah, wait, the then, bottom. Wait, then wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> now I'm more confused. You slap so, that as it is on top of a dang can, squeeze the dang handle, and twist. What's so hard about it? Oh, okay. So that's okay. So that's for a stress relief. You you squeeze it. What the? Yeah, to do the chunky and grab to the can. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I've never the seen ka-chunky. can openers like this. This is this is quite mind boggling to me. Right, Riley. Uh, picture yeah. the picture. This your norm. You have a can opener, right? And the blade parts of the like can. This. You know the you blade. It. It. <laughs> right, Riley. The blade and the gear part. You know that yeah, part. Yeah, the gear part. That part is upside down. That's what you're looking at in this picture. You can't see the blade parts because you're seeing the other side of the can opener. <laughs> I yeah. didn't think you would have. I didn't think I would have to spill that out for you, okay. but apparently I'm wrong. I saw in a YouTube video, I can't find a picture of it, so I just doodled what it is. It's horrible because you basically (laughs) just stick a blade on top of the can and then have to just like it's twist oh, the blade around it's it's basically like but, taking a pen knife and just this like is, dragging this is if, oh, this oh. is if somebody this is if somebody decided to turn their protractor into a can opener yeah That's, like there's no so, like well, wheel compass, like, you're, you're compass, compass. Slices. it's literally just a knife blade that just by sheer force you just like plow through the can to get it to open okay guys i think i figured out my problems uh, with max the is it this two. Is it is it that? No, no, there's no like Oh my gosh, I have one of them. <laughs> oh no, what? You have one of these? <laughs> my dad my dad found an old can opener and I was missing my can <laughs> opener. He's like, Well, Riley, until you find your other one, you can have this. And he's That's never my asked least for it back. Favorite one. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> okay, so my I figured out my problem with the other two can openers. I was considering twi- the twisting with the left hand, not the right hand. That's why it was uh. upside down to me. Oh. Oh, yeah. Max, what? is this the one you were talking about? <laughs> um, is that? No. It's a can opener. It actually technically had what like cans? a can piece. Oh my I god. Think I know what you're talking about. Okay, got, guys, well, mean? so I found an actual picture that does show the bladed ends, so the Riley doesn't have to confuse snap. himself. 
And I think this is actually the type of can opener okay, we have at okay. work. And it sucks. Yeah. Oh, hello? Is that, is that Jack? Pancakes yes. are done, baby. I just burned the crap out of some pancakes. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Jack, that's so, the worst news. Didn't is that what I literally now? come on and yeah. immediately say that Jack was going to burn the pancakes? Did you? Did so you're you... either talking about something like this, or if I can find it. That's not the one I originally Why are they so rusty? I found it. I'm scrolling through the YouTube video that I watched to see if I can find it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I know what you're talking about. I just can't find a picture of it. And those pancakes were doing from the start. I didn't have butter or syrup. Oh, did you have jam or peanut butter? Nope. What about this? Wait, no, that's milk. Man, it didn't let me copy the picture. <laughs> what about that? Was rather nuanced. Same photo. Okay, so Max's photo of the can opener reminds me a lot of my electric can opener. That it attached the, the magnetic bit at the top, and then it, it would this? circle around. No, no, it's it's. Wait, there's not like a handle or anything. It's like a circular oh, disc okay. that, like, yeah, yeah, that's the, the yeah, top yeah, yeah. Can. That's what I'm trying to find. Wait, maybe that's the one my dad gave me. I don't know. That one, that one looks, that one looks way, way more familiar than. Wait, that. no, maybe mm -hmm. it's not the. All right. Well, who uses this kind of can? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Is it, was it was it was it was it was it this one? Was it this one? What the oh, fuck? No. My gosh. No. Damn it. What the fuck is this? This is a piece a of butter. like abstract art. What the fuck? Okay, Maybe so it was it the one without this. the I might have handle? Just seen it in like a YouTube short. <laughs> is it that one? Uh that is actually I feel like kind that's of more close. similar to what it was. It was old, like it was an old. Yeah, you gotta look up crap. rusted can openers, and you'll probably find <laughs> it. <laughs> old, gross, disgusting, unusable can opener. Circular can opener. Circle. Circle. Well, uh, Riley, I found. I looked Did up it look rusty. Like a pizza cutter, because I just Riley, found I... that look like pizza cutters. Riley, I looked up rusty can opener, and this is the first result I got. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, that's very rusty. It's still usable. Why is this a Shutterstock photo? <laughs> yeah, I can <laughs> tell you, man. You have to buy the license for this rusty. <laughs> okay, this uh. is very similar to what it is. A and actually podcast. similar to what podcast. Yeah, it but it's you basically just force That is what Cameron posted a picture of. What do you mean? Yeah, I realize that now. That's it's, oh. it's still okay. not. Oh, is it this? Oh, interesting. I don't know. Oh, you said oh, the there was knife. a ring, and that doesn't. Look oh, like the knife. Ring. Oh, the knife is on a joint. Oh, okay. I think this is. Yeah, I think this is the one Gavin posted. For <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn, what? So the two closest examples were ones that were already posted that you said no to. Great. Yeah, yeah. Gavin, yours yeah, wrong. Oh, right. Okay, Max found the correct ones here. I, I needed to. God, the second man. one was my post. What do you mean? Now Max found them both. Yeah, no, that's what I said. No, no. Anyways, Jack, talking to you, Max. Jack, Jack, what, what, what's your can opener story? I don't have one. You don't have a can opener? That's fine. I found this rusty can opener. No, I don't have a can opener, <laughs> oh. actually. Why don't, and this one you know, came with an... You, you don't... Do you not eat cans? Or stuff from cans? I, I don't know. Riley. I'm not sure what goat. you're doing. I don't know. Can though. openers. We gotta go back to the go to can openers. Is that a key? What is that? I yeah. wanna see someone try to use that. That to open a uh, can. That looks like a SIM card ejector. Well the cans go with the key. <laughs> the cans oh, go with the key. You just open made. You just open the can with the key. Oh, is that where it like hooks in and it's almost like opening like a soda can? Or like no. it like twists it open, right? Well yeah, it twists it open from the side. I don't know what I've soda can those. does that, but I think military rations did that. There we go. Here's a picture of it doing the thing. Oh, yep, yep. <laughs> I'm, coming, I'm coming to realize that a lot of these old ass can openers look like Kapingas. <gasps> oh my gosh, dude! You're so right. <laughs> God, did we talk about Kapingas on an earlier podcast? No, it was a uh, different podcast. Wow. Yeah. It, the max I mean, it's weapon ever it created? Was... What do you mean, what? No, what do you mean, you a different podcast? I thought the boopcast. Oh, 
Uh, was Isn't this like it? weird looking was blade thing that I found a picture it's of? It's the best throwing weapon in the world, Max. Oh, yeah. Are you not a Kapinga fan? Are you? Yeah, yeah you're not a Kapinga fan. Gavin's the ultimate. Are you Kapinga sure it's fan. not just the fact that it's like eighty percent sharp edges? Yes, no, no. a hey, three-year-old could hey, throw it, it and it would stick to whatever he's throwing it at. If it works, it works, <laughs> Max. You know, oh, man. Max. If you're not a Kapinga yeah. fan, you're not. You're yeah. not a real. <laughs> It, you can't argue with you. You're not a man if you don't know what a Kapinga is. Every man's got a Kapinga in his closet. <laughs> I've got two Kapingas right now in my hands. I keep one under my pillow. Okay, look, I've been look, stabbed man, many you, times. Look, man. Okay, if you think if you throw the Kapinga and it doesn't stick, just add another sharp edge onto it. And yeah, whatever it edge it would have hit, add it on. <laughs> yeah. At what point do you add so many edges and it becomes unsharp? Then you just have a short. You just get, yeah. a, get a new edge. What are you, what are you talking Isn't about? Isn't it a chakram? If it's just oh, a, a circle. circle. <laughs> yeah. What if you add edges on the edges? If you just keep doing that, it would become unsharp eventually. And I disagree, Jack. I particularly I like the kapingas that add a little ding-dong to the side. Those are the best kapingas. <laughs> Because you throw these, right? You you throw the commands. Yeah. yeah, you throw them. I, yes, I didn't call it the best throwing weapon for nothing. Sorry, I'm I'm forgetting. <laughs> it's a counterbalance technique. Oh my gosh, there's different style looking Kapingas. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. there's a number of them. My favorite ones just are the leaner ones. But, just yeah. as there's different style shuriken and different style swords, there's different style Kapingas. Yeah, you got you got long snake like kapingas. Yeah, got you got ones that are good for cutting pizza. <laughs> okay, that's just no, that's a kapinga with a pizza cutter attachment, Max. Yeah, oh, I didn't see any of these yeah, in the north. Yeah, in case so I don't think these are very. You good. got the modern mass produced version. Well, Jack, that's because Naruto uses Japanese weaponry. Okay, okay, Gavin. So this kapinga we're looking at, the most recent one you posted. Is yep. this thrown so that it spins counterclockwise or clockwise? Or is it yes. Also, also, that's what makes it the best. That's what makes what? it a Kapinga. It seems like if you threw it spinning counterclockwise, it would like not stick as well. It depends. If you want to do a slicing attack, you do it counterclockwise. If you want to do a piercing attack, you do it clockwise. Oh, <laughs> that's the versatility that really makes the Kapinga mm, the best one. That's, that's what makes a Kapinga ping. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what that's what they say about the Kapingas. That's, that's what they all say. <laughs> that is you what gotta they make say. them ping, or it's not a Kapinga. <laughs> Can't have a co without the Pinga. That's what they say. True. I didn't think it was possible, but I might have put too much cream mm. cheese on this bagel. You can't. You can't <laughs> spell. Ka you can't spell Kapinga without. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Wait, Jack. You gave up on your pancakes, so you made a bagel. Dude, they were like. This whole I couldn't see this house is like. How so do you smoking. burn a pancake? Actually, this is. Yeah, did you? Did you the, Jack put is in the the only, oh, I forgot to turn down the heat. And Jack's then the only. I, just, I guess I didn't them? fully clean yeah. it from the last time yeah. I used it. Yeah. So as soon as I put it on the heat, it just smoked everywhere. What? Jack what? is the only person what? I know who can <laughs> fuck up the pancakes. How do you almost burn your house down from pancakes, Jack? How do you almost burn my house down pancakes? from you cooking pancakes? What the heck? <laughs> you should, like, no, put them on the burner and heat, walk and away. It fucked that shit up. No, no, I, I was there for the normal amount of time the pancake should take. You're staring at it, right? You didn't, heat. you didn't see the smoke. No, I was staring at it. What do you mean yeah, you, you were staring at? Watch it. it. You just fucking <laughs> literally. They only take like two minutes. To cook one <laughs> yeah, so I got two minutes of not staring at this it. This is like a thirty seconds what? flip, and it's done. <laughs> like. Jack, I meant mate. The I, the only reason Jack oh, cooks, Jack. the only reason Jack knows how to cook cookies is because that's one <laughs> of the things you don't have to actively stare at it. Put Here's it a pro oven. tip for the future, Jack. If you have to cook it in a pan, you have to keep your fucking eyes on it. I know I've cooked pancakes before. <laughs> Are you sure? sure? You're getting blasted you now, sure? Jack. So, man. You need to. I think you're going to lose your pancake certification. Uh, I never have one. Well, that explains a lot. 
Did you burn him more than once? Because I swear there was like two waves of smoky smell. Well, he flipped well, the it. First, the first one was the pam. <laughs> oh, I guess right, I threw the, the pan all the way. Uh, you threw yeah. the pan away? No, I didn't clean the pan all the way. Oh my god! Is, is this an accurate representation, Jack? Kind of. But the worst part is, it's not really a pan. I don't have a pan. So it's like a... What do you mean like you don't a have a pan? It's kind of a pot. <laughs> you I don't have a pan. Pancakes in a pot. Oh my god. Just, just, go to this, just go Seriously? to the store and buy How did you flip pan? the pancake then, Jack? With much difficulty. Are you like reaching <laughs> in? Like, it's oh got my. like chopsticks to try yeah. flipping you, it? Yeah. So you're not making pancakes, <laughs> you're making pot cakes. That's... Oh, <laughs> just, go next time, and, just go to the store and buy a pan for like five bucks or whatever. Fuck's sake. Jack, I've got Wait, a few pans really? if you need one. Jack, I can give you an Amazon link. I got a little like <laughs> miniature griddle for like $20 on Amazon and mm. I've made like a million pancakes on it. Uh, a griddle would be Griddles nice. For, it works. A griddle... The griddle would be nice for like making eggs and stuff. Eggs, grilled eggs, grilled cheese, any eggs. breakfast. Oh, very good. Griddle eggs. You could way probably easier to flip well, than pan eggs. Could you make cookies oh, yeah. on it? Jack would buy it if you can make cookies uh, on it. Um, I mean, I'm sure it's I, a hot. I never have, but I guarantee you, right? you probably can. But it'll probably take. You'll be one of the few people to cook a cookie instead of bake a cookie, but you know it's fine. Yeah, uh, cookies aren't meant to be made that way, but you go, King. You probably have to do it on really low heat and maybe try to cover it. Oh, okay, well, like that's that. doomed because Jack doesn't check the heat. Oh, yeah. yeah. Clearly well, just, <laughs> so that means it was like a pot on like your oven top? Yeah. That he just walked away from, apparently. <laughs> you have it on like yeah, the highest minutes. setting? Well, that's because I forgot enough. to lower it. You put it on for 30 minutes, yeah. Jack? You don't walk away from no, it, Whoa, whoa, whoa. You had it on yeah. maximum? Yeah, I forgot to lower it. Jack, you, you had it on maximum for boiling water. It's a situation where you need to max heat to Maximum cook is for pancakes. boiling water, Jack, not cooking You have pancakes. to get the pan hot. You also oh, have a gas oh. oven. A gas oven. You especially <laughs> don't walk away from a gas oven. That is gas true. I was really still nice. in the kitchen. I didn't walk away. Then oh. how did they burn? Yeah, yeah. Saw the smoke and we're like, you could just uh, turn your head. And just no, it was already pancakes. smoking. I put the pan on. The previous, uh, I guess I didn't clean it all the way off. Was still on there, so it was just already smoking. I, I did think you use any oil or anything? I did use oil. Yeah. Oh. Uh, for pancakes? So they yeah. I'm just not smoking. understanding how they could possibly. Too hot. You're supposed to use this butter. This is Jack. This is Jack when making pancakes. Yeah, this is fine. He just starts sniffing the air. <laughs> Almost done. I can smell the gas. They must be no, finished. And the I second I put the pan on, it, it was just smoky. Because uh, I can it's still you had it on maximum heat, Jack. Done. No, it's because like one thousand degrees last time burned to a crisp. Was yeah, it was at a thousand. Oh my goodness! It was, was on like the, the rims stuff? of the pot. You're like heat the shocking your poor pancakes. No, the inside. Well, it's okay. We've all been there, Jack. We've all I, 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 definitely... I, I, whoa, whoa, dude. You, you're not going to love me in with the pot cakes guy over here, okay? I have never... Yeah, I'm okay, before. sorry. Just sorry. Whatever this, not whatever this not specifically... That doesn't sound Not like specifically the pancakes, but we've all... We probably all have had cooking woes where we've burnt something. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I've burnt sugar pretty badly in a pan before, but that's because that's sugar right. apparently burns super duper fast. <laughs> yeah, and, I turned around for, <laughs> and I turned around for like 10 seconds and like, holy shit, there's smoke. And then I had to get rid of that sugar and then make new sugar or I guess cook new sugar. No, it, but it's sugar is way easier to burn than fucking pancakes. I can tell you that. <laughs> I can also tell you that I have cooked with sugar and just sugar. I have it also, I have also admittedly burnt some chicken patties in an oven, but that's because I passed out while they were cooking. <laughs> and... <laughs> so you weren't watching them. Uh, and they were in the room. They were Everything. in the oven. The cookie rule, guys. They were in the oven. You mean you don't stand and... there with the oven lights on and just like <laughs> you don't stand there with the oven the open? No. And... <laughs> and in my case, the 
the chicken patties are something that you actually can walk away from as long as you don't leave yeah. them in there too long, which okay, I so, yeah, didn't yeah. intend to do, but I did anyways because I fell asleep. Yeah. I just imagine you're in like the Family Guy death pose right in front of the oven, and there's just like <laughs> smoke pouring out of the oven. <laughs> uh. Gosh, yeah, for me, uh, I didn't let my frozen fish thaw long enough before <laughs> trying to cook it. Oh, gross. So, uh. so yeah, it got burnt on the outside and uh, basically frozen on the inside. Mm, you must have that mm. heat crate mm. when you cooked that. Black and blue style, I love it. Oh, God. It was fish, though, so, you know, it's basically just sushi inside. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> Was this like actual fish, like not breaded prepackaged stuff? Yeah, this is like a frozen, like, what is it? Probably like tilapia or something. Yeah, a filet. Oh, that's bad. Uh, yeah. That's so bad. Yeah, <laughs> well, so it, it definitely wasn't good. I, I could confirm that. And I have learned from that mistake, and now I let my frozen fish thaw longer. <laughs> yeah. Good, good. Yeah, you should. You definitely should. Uh, still not as bad as pot cakes over here. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what about you, Gavin? What? What's your cook? Tell us some of your cooking mishaps. Uh, let's see if they're worse than pot cakes. Oh, recently, <laughs> I uh, I wanted to get like one or two less grills in before winter sets in. All right, and. Uh, I put the burgers that I wanted to make on the little stump I have outside. And I walked yeah. upstairs to grab my my spatula. <laughs> and then I came back down and all the patties were in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was that's, so upset. That, that's not really a cooking mishap. That's just sad. <laughs> Luckily, but... two of the patties landed on top of two of the patties, so... Only two of the patties were covered in dirt. I could cook the other ones, but I had you, to throw away two patties. You could just wash the patties yeah. off, man, yeah, or just could. scrape no. the dirt. They were they were still off. meaty. They were still meat. Well, you could have just cut like done a cut of the meat, right? You just oh yeah, just look, cut the top yeah. half off. Yeah, yeah. Now, now look at it this way, Gavin. Any germs that were on that thing would die in the fire. That's true, but I wouldn't want to crunch into like a a gritty burger. It <laughs> builds character, Gavin. <laughs> it hardens your jaw. <laughs> oh boy, a pebble. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm an amazing cook, so I don't mess it, it up. It is too true. Much. Gavin is a great yeah. cook. I yeah. did make some potatoes not too long ago where I accidentally added too much garlic and they just kind of tasted super garlicky. Oh. That's a seasoning mishap, if anything. Okay, um, last time I burned something, <laughs> or something stupid like that. Uh, yeah, Gavin, go back like 10 years. <laughs> I remember my mom could not use an oven for like oven-ready pizzas or anything like that to save her <laughs> life. She could cook stuff from scratch, but she was, I don't know if she was like too trusting of the recommended time or what it was, but if it was like an oven-ready pizza or an oven-bake this or whatever. It always was burnt. And anytime I bought like a, what's the brand called? Ramona frozen yeah, pizzas. Yeah. Anytime I bought Ramona frozen pizzas, I just started up the oven. I didn't care about preheating it. I just threw, just that threw, in. <laughs> yeah, threw the pizza in there, waited 16 minutes, came back. The pizza was a little crispy on the edges and a little teeny bit raw in the middle but you know what i was fine and <laughs> it was good frozen pizzas yeah i've learned to turn the heat down a few temperature degrees and then wait a little longer and that normally works perfectly for anything yeah okay max are you gonna do worse than pot cakes <laughs> <laughs> what was the question cooking yeah cooking yeah. cooking bad cooking experience that you've uh, <clears throat> done Oh jeez. Uh... <gasps> oh, I have another one. Okay. <laughs> Mexican go though. Yeah. I mean, 
I had some friends over once and we tried to do grilled hot dogs, but I severely underestimated how quickly they would start to finish cooking and <laughs> I burnt oh, the yeah. absolute oh, piss out of them. No. Hey, hot dogs are one of those things where you can pop it in a microwave for 30 seconds and it's still overcooked. It's either yeah. a perfectly cooked hot dog or an explosion of meat. Like, <laughs> <laughs> still in between. I actually like cooking hot dogs in the microwave to the point where they start to like split. Yeah. yeah. But uh, the, well, yeah, yeah, no, it, like looks, it looks like perfect anything past them. Those that, four hot dogs on the grill, they were just, just. <laughs> no, they were. It was like uh, only like yeah. half of them because then I learned my lesson. I was like, oh crap, okay, I need to wait for the coals yeah, to die down a little bit. But yeah, apparently those grill hot dogs they don't split, so it's hard to tell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, the flames were like still going. I, I should have waited for the coals to die down to just like we just went down, 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 and the flames grew higher, and they burned, burned, burned. burned. My Oscar Mayer wieners. My Oscar Mayer. <laughs> My Oscar Mayer. I burned an Oscar Mayer wiener. Just watch it burn. Yeah, but you said you, said you had another one? I do. My right. lovely, lovely fiance. <laughs> the right first time... She ever cooked something for me. <laughs> ever in our moment. relationship. It was, yes, very special. She decided she would cook her favorite dish for me. Cordon Bleu? No, spaghetti. She loves oh, spaghetti. Yeah, okay. Spaghetti is very good. I do and like her spaghetti. mom has a special little thing she does that all of her kids love. She uh, adds... Just a couple of tablespoons of sugar to the sauce, making it sweeter. Mm. Mm. All right. A couple tablespoons? <laughs> just a couple. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll... To, a, to a giant pot? That's, that's not Oh, crazy. okay. So it's like not like, yeah, it's like a big, big uh, old batch. Yeah, no, she serves one small plate and puts two <laughs> scoops of sugar on it. I was envisioning like, you know, me and my brother having spaghetti, and I was like, oh my god, that's... No, that's the like entire batch of spaghetti each is two tablespoons. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm just imagine she serves it and just pour sugar. Well, <laughs> she <laughs> like, like putting it on recipe. Wheaties, like Ooh. just a little bit. She misremembered and uh, mistook tablespoons for cups. Oh, no. <laughs> no. No. What? Oh, um, was that sweet? Though? That's it. Was <laughs> very sweet. Both. Physically and uh, emotionally, yeah. <laughs> Dear, this is very sweet, literally, but <laughs> literally, but I can't eat this. I can't. Gosh. Yeah. But yes, very oh, nice, good. very sweet. It'll, <laughs> I will always remember it. Have Have you Have you had the the correct corrected amount of sugar in the spaghetti? I actually don't think so. <laughs> oh, no. it's Not a... for the six years since then have I had the actual <laughs> recipe, I believe. <laughs> like, oh, oh, man. It's... I'm not a big sugar by spaghetti fan. <laughs> not after the incident. <laughs> the incident. Oh, God. No. I've never, I've never tried it, so that's, that'd be an interesting thing to do. Well, all the young children love it, so, you know. I guess this one isn't as much a cooking mishap as it is just things being very unfortunate and not working very well. So mm -hmm. every Sunday at work, we have a brunch day where we serve nothing but breakfast items for like uh, from like 10 to uh, 2 a.m. No, p.m. What? <laughs> from, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Yeah. Oh. We serve nothing but like Brunch waffles yeah. and eggs and bacon and no, a lot of good brunch stuff. Yeah, sounds great. And there is this one ticket which ordered uh, they ordered some eggs which were done over medium, which is basically <laughs> over easy, but you leave it on the yolk side a yeah. bit longer than normal. That's how I oh, like okay. mine. So it was like over easy plus if it was steak terms. I I don't I don't know. <laughs> okay, cool. Do they normally <laughs> add pluses in steaks? Yeah, like medium rare versus medium rare plus. 
versus medium. Oh, I've never... Medium rare plus is in between medium rare and medium. Never heard of a plus added. Medium yeah. rare plus extra. Yeah, plus ultra, actually. Plus ultra, oh, yeah. plus ultra, okay. It's anyway, just it's make it more convoluted and difficult for the cook, really. You're just good at medium rare. That's done. Anyway, so because I'm the egg man at on Sunday, Are you the walrus? No. But All my I am fans egg... will love that. I was thinking. But I Sonic. am the cool. But I am in <laughs> fact the egg man. So I've learned how to crack some good eggs in a nice way. I've even one slowly hand. developed a one handed oh! cracking oh! Oh, that's no... But that's not what this story is about because oh, my for... co-workers with one hand. Okay, go. Because for some reason on this day in particular, for absolutely no reason at all, despite the fact that before and after this I could crack eggs perfectly fine, okay. for some reason my yolks just kept breaking open. Oh, that's awful. For this ticket, which wanted them over medium. So I'm like, okay, so I fucked up the first two. Well, now you get them over scrambled, whether you like it or not. <laughs> that's fine. I'll just I'll just scoop these onto a plate, give them to somebody who wants them, and I'll just try again. I tried it again. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? No, but the I'll egg man. do this one more time. One and I did it. Time. You know, they cracked onto the flat top and I'm like, all right, they didn't break open. Nice. I flipped the eggs over, turned around to like a look at the other tickets, turn back. They're flaccid now because the yolk popped again <laughs> after being flipped. So at that point, I'm like, all right, you know what? <laughs> Tell these guys that they that they're over medium eggs aren't going to have much yolk in them because they kept breaking open. And did they complain? I don't think they did. They didn't complain to me, so <laughs> you, who cares? You walk out there in like an angry gesture and just slam the eggs down. Like, this I is what you it. get for me or over medium. And if somebody did that, I think they just get kicked out. No, you'd be the one <laughs> throwing it at them. <laughs> what? <laughs> you got so fed up with the eggs that you brought the, the plate out yourself and just slammed it down in front of them. No, 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 Riley. No, no I'm a cook. <laughs> we don't handle the people. Okay, that's ah, that's okay. the waiter's job. I don't yeah. know. Some of the movies, if they get if the cooks get really angry, they oh, they they storm out movie. there. And what if slam they say that? I want to hey, talk hey, to the chef. Movies, movies, uh, they, are based on true if stories. If they say they want to talk to the chef, yes, they're simply told to all fuck of off. <laughs> Because they aren't allowed to come into the chef area. I've, no. I've been told that there were people who tried and they were immediately said, okay, no, no, leave. So, no, you're no, oh, wow. you're not allowed to talk to the chef if you're a complaining customer. Well, that just sounds mean. Man. It does. I, and I'm not complaining. I don't want to deal with customers. <laughs> Maybe I, I've been thinking back to it. The first time I went to like an actual like breakfast place i think it was like an ihop or something i asked to see the chef <laughs> and i asked for like over easy eggs and they were they were very runny and i wasn't used to runny eggs so now i get over medium eggs but maybe i just had a bad experience with with that one ihop are they supposed to be uh, really runny ihop yeah, is usually... very hit or miss with the cook uh, hmm. i have experienced but also, but also like uh an over easy egg is basically a sunny side up, but the sunny side part is cooked a little bit, so there yeah. you it's expected for them to be a little on the runny side. Like like I get the yolk run, but you shouldn't see like like the egg whites running, right? Oh, did you see oh, like clear cool. in the egg whites? <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> <laughs> see, I think I, I think that was the problem. I think I did I, see some of that. I mean, that's just them like breaking an egg onto a plate and calling it a day. At that point. Well, it was it was there is, slightly cooked. I was just there is no <laughs> amount there is no amount of egg cooking that should justify the whites being ready. Okay, okay. So that's I think it was the eye. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's like my word. Definitely right. the eye. But that's why I don't get over easy eggs now. Oh. Take it from take it from the egg man. Okay, that that's not how you cook eggs. That's not cooking eggs at all. Is what I call that. <laughs> it's like sushi, right? It's uh, it's just raw egg. 
Never you, can yeah. eat raw eggs so, just fine, right? Just like raw eggs and raw chicken. It's just, you know, you, a different way to eat it. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I don't think you should eat either of those raw. But what? Yeah, you do you, brother. What if the chicken has, like, feathers me. on it still? Is, is that funny? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, just like I like my cow with the skin on. Yeah, the leather you bite. the skin on steak, please? <laughs> oh, gosh. I said I wanted my steak very rare. I wanted it blue rare. I want it mooing. Blue rare is crazy to me. I want to do a rodeo on my on my steak. <laughs> I want to be able to ride my steak out of here. You got that? <laughs> whenever I whenever I see the very extremely super rare black and blue steak order, it makes me think, uh, man, I am glad that I'm not the one who works char because the, I can only imagine cooking a steak black and blue style would be a pain in the ass. Yeah. Riley, do you know what that is, means? Is, I'm based off context. Is that like charred outside and then just raw inside? Yep. yep. It's basic. <laughs> it's basically a rare steak, but the outside is well done. So it's like you my have my raw it. my fish. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's you exactly have to get the what pan you do hotter than Jack's pan was, <laughs> ah. and then just sear for like a few seconds on each side and be like, here you go. Yeah, you gotta do. You also have to get you. the edges, I think. Yeah, you gotta do what you and Jack did, but on purpose. <laughs> which is which is difficult, considering that the steaks aren't uh, frozen, which would make yeah, it easier. Yeah, but they aren't. So you throw it in the freezer while you're you're heating up the pan, and then yes, yeah, so the outside gets frozen, <laughs> not the inside. Oh, oh, you're right. Never mind. You cut the steak open, put them inside in the freezer. You turn freezer. it inside out, yeah. put it in the freezer, <laughs> put it right side in. Yeah, yeah. We all know how to cook a black and blue steak. Uh, yeah. Do you? <laughs> yeah, you just I mean, told I me. Like my, I like my steaks pink and bloody, but Jesus. Yeah. Blue rare is medium rare. I, is the I sweet like, spot. I like mine at the medium, medium rare range, yeah. It depends on how you cook. If you're really good at cooking a steak, then medium rare is amazing. If you are not that great, then medium's the way to go. Yeah, see, my sister ruins steak. And you that that means you already know what she likes. Well done. Hamburgers, yeah. She uh, likes congratulations. <laughs> yes, she likes them. That's so good. <laughs> what? I it's love not, that joke not, the first time I heard that. It. Congratulations. I don't, I don't get the joke, Gavin. What do you mean, congratulations? Instead of well done? Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow. I, was, I was, was mad confused. That was a good one, Gavin. That's a good one. Thanks, yeah. I made it up. I made that joke. I didn't hear it anywhere. It was all me. Yeah, the first time you heard yeah. it in your head. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Whew. Jack, how do you like your steak? He doesn't. <laughs> well, I don't. Uh, you don't eat steak, man? Not a cow fan? No, I just don't like eating meat when it's just meat. I have to have something else with it. What if you had, like, a bone with it? Like, ribs? No. <laughs> like no. a tomahawk. And I don't, I don't really like red meat, either. <laughs> Is that red okay, meat? But, like, if it's cooked, it's not red, so that's okay. That's why he avoided the burgers. And See, I thought fish was so red. We were all together. No, fish is definitely not red meat. What? What? What is fish then? What am I what thinking it's of? It's like a red-colored fish. Fish I mean, is salmon's its... pink meat. Fish is its kind of own category of meat. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not talking about the is. color itself, but I thought they were classified I'm, as like. I'm not I'm talking about the color. I'm pretty I've... sure you're wrong. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey. All I know is that red sure. meat usually <laughs> refers to like beef and stuff. White meat refers to poultry, and I think fish is its well, own type. Not of meat. necessarily, because turkey has both light and dark. I guess. Yeah. Meat. But uh, on the top meat. topic, but of that's meat. not white and red. That's light and dark. So I don't. I don't really know. Uh, on the topic of turkey. I think yeah. that's a pretty overrated meat type. If I'm now, being honest. now the problem is turkey is normally compared to ham. 
Say, if you give I, me the dark meat of a I turkey, that shit's I'm, moist ooh, and yeah, that shit's delicious. That's true. I'm, I'm not a fan of ham either. Both of them are overrated to me. Wow. I would agree. There's so much. There, most meats are better. Yes. <laughs> this is this is crazy talk, man. Thanksgiving every, is is one of my every, favorite holidays. Every time I've had a slice of ham, I'm like, it's fine. Say we but... have New York Strip on Thanksgiving, so <laughs> I'd rather I'd rather have New York Strip on Thanksgiving. But the yeah, turkey. Great. I get it. I well, get we it. cook it's... it like a turkey. We See, get a giant slab of have... New York Strip. And I I, I understand and... turkey right. is definitely I... dry. It's a dry bird. I but rather... you douse it enough gravy, blam. <laughs> Less That's dry. True. I need to mix it with my potatoes and corn in order to eat it. <laughs> I'd much and rather I love have... potatoes. I'd Me much too. rather have uh I'd much rather have chicken than turkey if I had to Oh choose. yeah, any day. I have yeah. a lot of chicken. There's so many amazing ways to cook chicken. Oh yeah. Turkey is yeah. just put it in oven eat. You can stuff the turkey. It's okay. Yeah, you can yeah, stuff chicken so- too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you can. That doesn't make the turkey unique. I didn't anything I wasn't saying it was the, unique. Anything you can do with the turkey, you can also do with the chicken. That's how you catch a unique lion. See, the turkey is just bigger. It's a bigger uh chicken. That's <laughs> so, another reason why okay. I'm not a fan of it, because that means there's more of <laughs> it's the more of the bad meat. That means big corporations can charge you more for it. That's and why I'm against big turkey. And there's only one part of the turkey that I like, and it's the drumstick. The drumstick. And once that's gone, I'm left yeah. with the everything else. And okay, that just what about... stinks up your fridge for a few weeks until you throw it away. We make Nail. like uh, a turkey yeah. tetrazzini with our leftover turkey. I don't know what the a tetrazzini only... is, but good for you. It's a pasta dish. Yeah. Oh, the gross. only ham and turkey <laughs> I eat is... The I like only pasta. ham and the only ham and turkey I eat are uh, deli sliced ham and turkey, so they're probably yeah. processed. Oh, they're and I only processed. eat those on sandwiches. And Riley, I like pasta too. I just made a uh, oh oh, you were being a funny a chicken alfredo today. So uh, pastas are good. I do enjoy. Pasta. I had spaghetti today. That's also good. I didn't Without have any sugar. Pasta. Uh-huh. I didn't have any, I didn't have any pasta today, but. Uh, I did have a, a roast beef sandwich at work. Ooh, and I like roast beef sandwiches. And mash and gravy. So that was good. Oh, man. I'm coming more and more hungry. I'm going to have to yeah, open up the bag of <laughs> candy again. Yeah, we sell pot roast sandwiches at oh, work. Wow. What you do is you take two slices oh, of God. bread. Do you, and soak then it? You... do you soak the bread? Do you soak the bread? I is mean... The bread I mean, it's going to get soaked. Oh, soaking. Is that what you do? It's yeah, does bread soaking. practice soaking? You can, you can soak bread in the gravy. Oh. Well, Riley, oh, you, Riley, how about you let me finish <laughs> talking about this thing instead of interrupting me? Well, it we is... just have to make sure that you're soaking. <laughs> yeah. Well, Wouldn't you're going gonna... to hate this sandwich. <laughs> well, you're going to find out whether or not it's soaked after I explained it. Okay, go for it. Go for it. Uh huh. All right, so you put the pot roasts on the bread, mm, and okay. you know, the pot roast juices they soak into the bread itself. Mm. It's not pre soaked. You push up though. from under the bread so that the bread and the juice is moving, but they're not moving themselves, so they're what? not committing the 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 soak. What are you talking about, Gavin? Soaking. That's not how you soak bread. Um. Yeah. And then you take a nice scoop of the mashed potatoes oh slap, yeah slap it on the side of the sandwich and then you make like a little divot inside the mashed potato kind of like a bowl and then you take mm-hmm. like a full big old ladle of gravy and then you pour that shit on both the sandwich and the potatoes it's delicious that, yeah that sounds great mm. yeah and pretty good and that's what you had today, or just that's what yeah. you, you. I had I had that today, but I made my own additions, like uh, 
like a toasting the bread on the flat top and uh, putting mayo. Yeah, yeah. In the sandwich. I feel like you have to toast it, otherwise it it, it gets soggy. You don't you don't want no soggy no I soggy mean, soggy I mean, bread. I mean, to be fair, I think this is a sandwich you're intended to eat with like a fork and knife instead of. Egg. Oh, probably, but people are gonna they're gonna manhandle the sandwich. Yes. I mean, I enjoy the manhandling. Uh, some people probably will. Yes, me. I, <laughs> I, we do have a, another uh, hot roast sandwich, which is a little bit of a secret item. Oh, secret! Because it's yeah. not on the menu. But well, you take a you take the hamburger buns, you toast those, and then you put the pot roast on that, and that's the sandwich. Oh, so you could just wow. swap just out regular bread. bread for hamburger buns? Yeah, and you toast the hamburger buns. Oh, yeah. The buns are thicker, and therefore they can handle. Oh, they can hold. They can oh, handle they the can juice. Soakage. Yeah. And plus, they're toasted on top of that, so that's even more soak. Uh, yeah. Handling. Did anybody understand what I was talking about when I was talking about soaking? Or am I the only one here? Uh, uh, I, just, I, yeah, I was just thinking it was funny to. Made Cameron frustrated by interrupting. Oh no, I was talking about <laughs> a legitimate thing. But, yeah, okay. I, I was talking about soaking actual bread. You mean the soaking about... that a lot of college students do? Is that your yeah, thing? that's soaking. See, Jack gets it. I, I was a college student once. Did you say no? You didn't do this. <laughs> I did not soak any bread. Uh-huh. I think it's a French technique. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> we let call drop or is everyone just <laughs> we were yeah, just yeah, nobody, nobody we're was, trying nobody to be a, si- a moment of silence for, for everybody to enjoy a moment of silence, a moment was, of silence for the best thing no, it was a moment of, it was a moment of silence for Jack's pot cakes uh, it was like, in like oh, the yeah, middle geez. of laughing though everything just caught out like, <laughs> what no, I think the everyone just stopped laughing to yeah my, my discord sometimes cuts out my laughing La- laughing, my laughing, my laughing. Comes out my laughing, and it goes into a yeah. uh, soundtrack. As Jack, what were you saying? I was saying my my favorite Thanksgiving food is corn. I get like a whole fucking plate oh, of that. Shit. God, yeah. Do you go for a green uh, corn yeah. or scalped corn Ooh. or kernel corn or corn? I like I like never my had green corn, corn until I met Maddie. I like uh, my years of wasted, Gavin. I know. <laughs> I like my... since they make their own. Oh, oh wow! Man, I like my. I've never had cream corn. <laughs> so, missing out. I prefer my corn on the cob. No, I get to That's take great a, too. I my... get to take a stick of butter, slather it on the cob as I'm uh, spinning it, and then I get to salt the cob and eat it like that. It's delicious. Damn, I, I love that. Off the cob, then, I just make a mess otherwise. And then I, uh, and then when I'm done eating all the kernels, I get to soak whatever juices are left inside oh. the cob itself. My dad makes amazing scalped corn. It's basically cream corn with like crackers, eggs, and more butter. Oh wow, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> it's really my grandparents good. grow their own corn, so it's amazing oh. when they when they harvest it. You got corn for months. Wow, for years. Do they, do they chop it up, put it in baggies, and freeze it? Yeah, yeah. You know, we we live on a farmstead, so there's some corn that be growing around our farmstead. And, and just go, when we oh, take it and cook it. And yeah, we, they won't notice if we take this, you know, just one stock. And you know, allegedly that uh, uh, a dog would take a piece of corn or something like that, and we'd find it on our property, and we would have some, <laughs> we, we'd have some corn, allegedly. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, a dog took it. We didn't think you wanted it. So. It was on the ground already, slobbered on. And you ate it. <laughs> Which one took it, Goldie no, or Gimpy? Allegedly, allegedly. Um, allegedly, I'm pretty sure it was. I think it was Goldie, allegedly. Uh, but they probably allegedly both did that. Yes, allegedly, probably yes. 
Yeah. They also it was it was kind of um, stressful times when the giant like combines would come out the to go. Giant? Action. Yeah, the giants come out the and giant harvest comes in the and uh, people. <laughs> harvest and the corn. Eating the corn because we 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 have to keep the dogs you know from going to the giants because we don't see, want the, the gi- giants to eat them. Yeah, yeah, see, yeah. The giants is mad because you're eating corn allegedly. Peas. Allegedly, you're, well, they're not growing like, peas. Why would they be growing well, peas? Because the green giant is the mascot for the oh. peas. That's the joke. Oh, sorry. No, this is a corn country. I absolutely, as a true. kid, I, there was farmland surrounding my entire place when I lived in North Dakota. So Me too, but plant, not North Dakota. Yeah, when they'd plant wheats, we'd go over to the fields as kids and just, like, take a little bit of wheat. Allegedly. Pull it out. Allegedly. <laughs> and no, not allegedly. Statute of limitations is long expired. I was, like, <laughs> five years old. You don't know the, you don't know oh, the wheat laws? I, yeah. It's okay. My family knew the farmers, man. And uh, you could just like take out the kernels and just chew them, and they kind of turned into like a weird form of gum, almost. I don't like gum. It's called wheat gum. (laughs) What? What? I don't know if that's officially what it's called, but like we just knew it as wheat gum. (laughs) So it's like, oh, they've planted wheat, and the wheat is ripe. Just go, you know, just go snag a little couple wheat heads and get the kernels out and chew it up, and boom, wheat gum. Okay, so I typed in wheat gum on on Google, and it says wheat gum is a bubble gum-like substance that forms when you chew wheat kernels long enough. Oh my god! (laughs) Nice. (laughs) Exactly what it is. Uh, That sounds unpleasant. But if you (laughs) chew candy canes vigorously enough, they also turn into a kind of gum. Pioneers would chew wheat kernels as a form of gum, especially working in the hot fields. (laughs) Back in my day, we had to chew wheat to get our gum. Man, there's there's three steps to making wheat gum. Put a handful of wheat kernels in your mouth. <laughs> chew for a few chew. minutes, swallowing only saliva and not the grains. The Riley, kernels. Are you looking at the Search Labs Google AI overview right now? Yes, yes. <laughs> not because I'm looking at the AI. <laughs> Man, I want to learn... I, I want to find out how to turn off that AI overview so bad. Why? It's probably a setting for that. Because I don't like it. I tried AI looking for a setting. I couldn't find it. I don't know. I like it. I'm letting the AI uh, overview oh, take it? over. It's like Chrome colon slash slash flags or something similar. And you can like fuck with all kinds of like super advanced Chrome <laughs> settings. Like you could like really mess up your Chrome with it too. Oh, there's boy. probably one in there to get rid of it. Let's advertise that. <laughs> yeah, so let's let's destroy our Chromes. I'll shoot. Actually, probably not, because that's Chrome settings, not Google settings. Yeah, man. Maybe we shot the Chrome. Yeah, Jack's not a Chrome guy. Firefox. Yeah, I'm Opera. Jack nice. thinks it's safer. Well, it was better. Well, I mean, to yeah, get no rid of AdBlock. They're not using it, so there's no one there to steal. <laughs> Nobody's using it. <laughs> that's Nobody's why. So hey, I, I do love Firefox. Firefox. I, that's why I, I go to Internet Explorer. Browsing. Nobody's I using it. I used Explorer. Firefox when I wanted to do things that the school wouldn't allow. In Firefox, I could do it on most of the time. <laughs> it's probably because that the IT admins couldn't be bothered to set exclusions for Firefox. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, eh. kids would know about who's going to use Firefox? I do uh, use it because it's for writing products. like Python scripts that, that use the web. Um, Firefox is one of the easier browsers to set up for. And it, when you have it open stuff, it's nice to use a browser that it's not your main browser so you don't mess up your... Yeah, it's a use... purpose, but it's not a main browser, like you said. <laughs> yeah, I for use... me at least. It's not... My mom uses Firefox. It's her I use browser. Opera because it saves whatever tabs I had open in case I have to shut off my computer and turn it back on or... Whatever. That's why you just hit it... recover tabs. Chrome can yeah, do that. Yeah. Firefox does that. It does yeah, it every half the time. <laughs> yeah, but Opera does it just by booting time. up your computer. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, mine does it whenever I open Firefox. And, it, yeah. <laughs> and Opera also has like a uh, pop out video function for YouTube videos. So that way I could have you no know, another op- window open on my side monitor, which I want to keep track of of stuff on while also having the video playing in the corner and I can adjust the size of the video 
player. It's got a picture no. in picture. Well, that's why you just basically. get like three ultra wide monitors. That for you can yeah, use you just you get you get a new monitor. monitor. You get the ten I'm, monitor setup. I'm not getting a third monitor just to watch YouTube videos. No, that... no, no, no! Don't get a big monitor. Get like a little baby, like five inch monitor and just like <laughs> put it below like right above your keyboard and that's mm. where you put the uh, video yeah get the nah. worst looking monitor like i think i like get 360p a... <laughs> no, two monitors are plenty for me a little I've... five inch monitor scan lines five pixels like buffers every so often like with you know the, the old timey mean... effect Oh yeah. Uh, you guys can have that. Uh, it has that added on. It. it can actually be clear, but <laughs> it chooses not to. <laughs> I'm good with the two monitors I have. You guys can do that setup. You know, I don't want to. I don't want it. Wasn't Jack's dream as a kid to have like a ten monitor setup so we can watch like ten episodes of an anime at once? <laughs> that sounds company? like his current dream. <laughs> Is that not a dream of yours, Jack? No. It sounds like you. Was no, it, it's Was not. it 12? <laughs> it's to not get a, full a dream season? of mine. I'm it's not a normal monitor right now. That's because oh, yeah. my desk isn't deep enough, so I have to sit closer right. to my monitor, so I can't use a second one as efficiently. It's well, just... then do what I did and build a, the perfect desk. Make the monitor go above. Do vertical desks or ve vertical screens. Do vertical desk. Vertical desk. You know, a wall. <laughs> <laughs> I bet vertical screens. Uh, a nice L-shaped desk would be nice. Yeah, you could do like a, an attached wall screen, I guess. My current desk is like kind of expensive, but I found one at Goodwill. And they were selling it for like fifteen dollars. Mm. I just snatched it up. Never snatched it up so bad. That's because I built it, like I said. My current desk injured my toe. I thought my toe was going to be broken. <laughs> my I current hope that shelves to mount soon. That'd my cool. current desk has uh, LEDs that I never Ooh. turn on, but oh. they're an option. <laughs> I have LEDs behind my desk and on my wall that I always have on and never turn off. There you go. Now that's power saving right there. If you never turn it off, then they never need I mean, to be turned back on. I don't pay for electricity, so I don't care. Ah. <laughs> so what you, you what you're saying is you should have like your oven on. You should have like your your heater on and the windows open. Well, I care about the person who the, is paying. Oh, I just oh. don't care that much. It's not like Jack. Like Jack's yeah, not. No. <laughs> Jack's not paying for shit. Maybe like Jack's paying for your electricity. <laughs> you just have all these lights on. I was like, oh wow. Gavin keeps his house lit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do, baby. <laughs> you know, like, Jack gets the electric bills <laughs> merged with his rent. And Jack's like, oh, <gasps> this is pretty steep. But I don't have to pay utilities, so it's a steal. <laughs> I mean, well, he has no idea that he's been paying for utilities this entire time. It's like the... <laughs> Ten dollars plus ten dollars shipping is nasty, but twenty dollars free shipping is like, oh my god, it's an amazing deal. I have fallen victim to that more times. Oh, than yeah, oh absolutely, the... same. I'm like, oh gosh, it's plus like, ten dollars? No. Uh, it's like when DoorDash does like, if you order twelve dollars or more food and you get free shipping. Yep, go for the twelve dollars. It's like. All right, I better order more food then because that's smarter. Yeah. It's like I'm uh, I'll go for the $12, but not because I'm looking for that steal cuz I know it's probably not a steal in fact, but, then but you because I'm meals. really hungry and uh, I'm yeah. not going to complain about having like well, I have an excuse to buy more food. Yeah, exactly. I I, I had to order a second food. order of cheese sticks. You don't understand. Yeah, $12 of fast food isn't really that much nowadays. No, it's like it's one not. burger it's... and one fry. <laughs> it used to be able to feed two people. Yeah, it used to be able to feed five people. One dollar, man. I mean, yeah, if you go back far enough, it could feed a family. Yeah, when they yeah. cost it a nickel. <laughs> when a burger was a nickel and fries were a penny. That's when pennies had value. That's when pennies could buy you a nickel. Hey, you Actually, could, you could sell a penny probably for two cents. When I was in high school, 
a McDonald's when I was in junior yeah, well, year materials school, at one point, yeah. A <laughs> cheeseburger from McDonald's was I remember it was ninety nine cents. Yeah, because I'd get wow. it after school. Currently, the average McDonald's cheeseburger in the U.S. is three dollars fifteen cents. Oh, man, awesome I can go from cheese. buying three thousand burgers to just a thousand. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, it does. even says here the Google AI thing. It even says a cheeseburger used to cost one dollar may now cost cost close to three. Man, I remember. Uh, good thing's Trump president's now. He's gonna fix everything. He's gonna fix the cheeseburger price cost. He's gonna ice, fix the ice cream machines are finally fixed. Uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a legitimate thing. There was a, a I, I just saw a post about it. A uh, a lawsuit thing went through where McDonald's can now finally like contract with other repair groups, and so the ice cream machine issues may actually go away now. Well, the thing with the ice cream machines, they weren't broken. They just didn't yeah, want to clean them, people, so they said they were broken. People yeah. just well, didn't yeah, that's care. part of it. But also, there was like McDonald's had a thing. From like ages ago, where only one company was allowed to service the machines, and so if they did break, uh, they were broken for like days. And the I don't know the details of the lawsuit because I just saw it in a few memes. Oh yeah, we I used to have glanced the, at it, but oh yeah, we used to have the same thing with our waffles at work, where it's like you guys can only use this specific type of waffle maker and this specific batter that we provide. But then, like, you know, I guess the contract with them ended, so now we make our own batter, and we're looking into getting better waffle irons because the Man ones batter. we have currently are shit. That's how they get you. Do they produce pot cakes like Jack? <laughs> <laughs> if no, you have a waffle they're... iron that can just create pot cakes, I will buy it off of you for <laughs> just about anything. No, not say a... Uh, it's it's a waffle iron that's specifically made to make a uh, Scandinavian waffles because that's the kind of waffles we sell. Oh, Scandinavian waffles! Don't they have to like, be made in a certain area? I don't know, like Scandinavia. Like Scandinavia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can make foreign food in not. No, all hamburgers have to be made in Hamburg. Yep, we all know this. Hamburgers. Damn, I would die if I had to go to Germany. Elsewhere for pizza. Oh. That's Italy, good. right? It's not called Pizza's Italy Italian. pizza. Yeah. Italy pizza. <laughs> Italy pizza. Where were cookies made? That might Man, be like, if you haven't it's seen... probably America, Jack. <laughs> Again, you're missing the point. Uh, it's not in the but, name. Yeah. <laughs> but if you haven't seen... Uh, Where was cookies made? See... But if you haven't Persia. seen like a Scandinavian style waffles before, they look pretty nice. They look like this, and they, they taste like nice. Waffles? Oh, they're like oh, hard. They're, they're like, like Valentine yes. waffles. Oh, they're cut into fifths. What? Why? Why are they in fifths? I don't like that. They aren't. They aren't. Well, oh, they're cut into fifths. <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> hard to <laughs> care. Well, it's firstly, gross. Riley, yeah. they aren't <laughs> cut. Okay, there are specific types of they're irons green. that cut them, but the oh, one okay, we okay. sell. Are grooved. You can cut them if you want to, but you know like we typically fork. we typically fold our waffles because we put stuff inside. Like the a waffles. Crepe, but yeah, waffle? I, was, I was thinking crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. And the ones we have Very with crazy. the old shitty irons that we're using have only four hearts. Like a nine five. iron. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, they only have one iron, Riley. Oh, <laughs> we have two irons. Oh, you have the two, two irons. Sorry. Yeah. Do you have a wedge? But we're. What the fuck? <laughs> to get it out of the two iron, obviously. Yeah. What if you? <laughs> what if you're in the bunker, man? I'm going to ignore Riley, <laughs> and uh, we're looking into finding the five heart irons because those oh, cook the waffles iron. that's a pretty good one yeah because those cook the waffles a lot faster and uh they also uh actually function while our uh four-hearted irons uh don't work like one third of the time so yeah we're looking into getting better irons 
<laughs> Those were golf puns, by the way, or golf jokes. Yes. Riley, do you think I give a shit about golf enough to <laughs> understand any jokes about it? I was so Don't proud worry, of myself. Riley, I had you. I was, I was so happy that I could make some golf references because, you know, that's one of my amazing favorite sports because you have to be quiet. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Did you know that hole in one is actually a golf reference? Oh my god. And did no, you know Fire in the Hole is not a golf reference? Uh that's a yeah. lie. Who yeah, thought I, that was that? I <laughs> did. I I've always associated Fire in the Hole as like blowing shit up. I don't, <laughs> yeah, that's that actually a reference to eating spicy foods. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Also I hate to cut my time that. short, but I work early tomorrow so i'm gonna yeah we can we can call her we can call her short here actually this is probably the normal time all right maddie you're short true but is she like 412 like i don't know she's like my height but uh, i'm short so i think so about like 69 average inches guy height. you're my height ha <laughs> ha yeah but average guy height we all know is short uh, i guess before <laughs> we end it uh the one there hasn't been a lot of interesting updates on the Lunchly situation. <laughs> uh, but I have heard that Lunchly is being pulled off of shelves, you know, on account of the mold in the yeah, cheese. That... <laughs> what <laughs> mold? What? Well, it's what? not I've real cheese, though, right? We talked about it on the last yeah, yeah, podcast yeah, that's, we that's did. We already discussed it. That's it's safe mold. Yeah, yeah. Safe no. to me. Just... It's fermented cheese. Fermented right? cheese top. And uh, that's the mold. They still haven't addressed the mold issue. They went on a podcast and they're be like, instead of addressing like the actual health concerns, they're like, Man, people are just mad that we're successful. They're jealous. <laughs> oh yeah, successful. All right. People see us and are jealous that they can't be like us. That must be it. And that's why everyone's mad. They're they're salty Dan TDM fans. They're still <laughs> they mad at us. They're still talking about Dan TDM. Salty Dan TDM. Yeah. Uh, These damn Minecraft fans criticizing our food. Oh uh, yeah, KSI refused to refuses to let it go. He's had like uh, videos where he's like, he came at me. <laughs> he came at me, and you, you don't expect me to fight back. And these Dan TDM fans just won't let it go. <laughs> yeah, they you won't know. let it go. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll call her quits on the podcast. So what should we talk about next time? Hmm. Max is very... Rafts. Oh, what? Yeah. Rafts? Giraffes. Ah, giraffes. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say kiwis. Funny animals? Ah. Oh, funny animals. I like that one. Is it I, have lots of, I have lots of funny animal things, like facts okay. that I could share. All right. All Dude, right. Funny yeah. animal facts. Oh, yeah. okay. So I giraffes am and funny animals in general. Yeah. Like the kiwi. I see, I see giraffes yeah, count like as a funny kiwi. animal. A visit to the zoo. Like the ninja kiwi. Shit, I haven't been to the zoo in like probably 10 years. I've been to the zoo Same. last year. Wow. wow, Mr. Rich Boy goes to the zoo. He goes to the zoo, stares at animals. Like, I don't like think a rich boy. Mr. Rich Boy. I don't think you have to be rich to go to the zoo. Well, we'll, we'll figure out how rich you have to be to go to a zoo next time. Next <laughs> so, time. Your research before showing up. <laughs> so, thanks for all watching, and until next time, bye-bye. Thanks for all watching. <laughs>